Now let's get more insight into this issue and joining us to discuss it is an economist and former director general of the Abuja Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Dr. Chijoke Ekechuku. Thank you very much for joining us on the News at 10. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. And we have only 10 years before these targets of 17 goals set by the uh, United Nations. Do you see Nigeria achieving the 17 goals, especially looking that millennium goals were set and we never met that? And those reasons why we probably didn't meet those are still here with us. Do you see Nigeria meeting these goals? You know, when these goals were set, um, because we couldn't achieve the millennium goals, we, many Nigerians didn't take it seriously because we didn't see the indicators that would actually make us meet these goals as they are coming. Here we are in 2020, um, poverty is still with us, hunger is still with us, unemployment is still with us. Uh, so we have not seen all the efforts. Yes, efforts have been made, but the efforts that could take us out of the situation today and tomorrow um, are not compelling enough to see us through to getting out of it. So, um, but it is also important for us to know that as far as there is a growth pattern and uh, we're growing and there is a, um, a step, we we'll always make steps for, for, forward, then um, we may have some hope that it, it may be possible. But for what we're seeing today, um, it doesn't look like something that is still going to be achievable. Let's look at the statistics coming from the UNDP on poverty especially. They are staggering. Even more interesting for Nigeria is that the cause is not just social inequality amongst us, but then mismanagement of funds, especially by public officers. Right. So, I mean, in the 10 years that we have left. Yeah, when you see the level of inequality that is happening in Nigeria and in fact in most other countries that have higher um, levels of inequality, you will see that something that is common in all those countries is corruption. Corruption and corruption. And with the level of corruption that we have seen in Africa and in Nigeria, um, you will see that inequality will continue to remain. And of course we have seen unemployment playing out and uh, the, the percentage of unemployed Nigerians is continue, has continued to grow instead of reducing and with that percentage growing all the time we it becomes difficult to really uh, narrow the level of inequality mm -hmm. in, in, the, in the country. Now if, if corruption is a factor like you're mentioning, doesn't the fight against corruption by this government encourage you in any way? Um, yes, we can see some of the efforts made by government. But the outcome is what we have not seen eventually. Efforts without outcome may not give you any good result. We have seen the efforts, but not seen the outcome. Because the same level of corruption um, we, we were afraid of are still uh, facing us every day. And so until we get a good outcome of seeing a good number of Nigerians going out of uh, corruption or seeing our system um, free from corruption, then we can say, yes, inequality can begin to uh, reduce. Of course, we also see the fact that um, uh, the level of uh, cost of governance that mm. we have always mentioned, they, you know, they, the people in political class have excess money, um, you know, and then the other people do not have that same kind of money. Then when, when that happens, we are bound to see the level of inequality we don't want to have. Dr. Ekechuku, from the point of view of an economist, tell me, is there a way we can address the inequalities? Yes, uh, we have ways of addressing it. Um, first of all, we have to have our economy grow. As far as once our economy can grow up to between 5% to 6% to 7%, with the kind of population we have today, we should be able to be reducing the inequality that is happening. Um, today, the per capita income is low, so low because the GDP, GDP size is not as high and the population is growing so much. So we need to reduce that. Um, we also, like I said, we need to fight corruption. We have to fight it head on and reduce the cost of governance um, in our system. Once we do this, we have to also uh, find ways of creating uh, entrepreneurs, many entrepreneurs amongst our youth uh, by you know, training them in all the very areas, various areas of skills development. Uh, once we do that, then a lot of people are going to be having hands-on jobs that will literally take them out of, out of poverty. Dr. A.K. Chukwu Amos, thank you very much for joining us on the News at 10. Thank you very much. Dr. A.K. Chukwu is an economist and former director general of the Abuja Chambers of Commerce and Industry.
Thank you.